Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, this time, what I'm going to share to you is my Bible art journaling. And the scripture that I want to share is in Luke chapter 6, verse 32 to 36. The reason why I want to share this to you because this is really a very nice scripture for us to be reminded if we experience um, not so good in our lives. Like... Um, I believe most of you would um, agree with me that we are we are in a crazy world right now. So crazy world, you would experience, you would also experience crazy people, um, difficult people, unlovable per people. So if you encountered somebody who would hurt you and say bad words against you, or um, insults you, or whatever things that they've done that is not really pleasant it's not good um, this scripture would really give us um, an idea on how to respond because um, in this world you would able to see that there's so many um, people who are fighting and not um, agree and disagree with each other and continue the norms because once the people hurt the other, the other would also hurt back the other person. So there's no end on it. So that's why we have to learn and practice on how to respond in the right way. So it would not uh, be able to grow this dilemma <laughs> that people are fighting against each other. So in Luke chapter 6 verse 32 and 36 it says here if you love those who loved you what credit is that to you even sinners love those who love them and if you do good to those who are good to you what credit is that to you even sinners do that and if you lend to those from whom you expect repayment what credit is that to you even sinners Lend to sinners expecting to be repaid in full. But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be um, sons of the Most High, because He is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. I know this is very challenging and so hard if you experience it. But if you also experience what um, God wants us or trying to make us do. If we uh, experience people who are unlovable, those people who would hurt us and, and insults us. And be able to do um, what God wants us to do is to love them despite all those things. Um... We would really understand these words that um, it is a great feeling if we would overcome um, our sinful nature and still learn how to love those unlovable pe people. <laughs> and in in first or first Peter chapter two verse twelve to fifteen, Jesus is a very great example in here that when they hurled their insults at him he did not retaliate when he suffered he made no threats instead he entrusted himself to him who judges justly so jesus is a very great example for us to follow um, he has no sin but he was able to bear those insults and and sufferings how much more for us that we are uh, sinners we sinned also against others so we have to learn how to forgive and still love those people who have hurt us love those people who are um, unlovable uh, those difficult people it's hard but um, if we would really uh, learn how to do his ways we would feel great um, I've experienced that and um, be, at first, as a human um, being, your nature is you tend to fight back. 
you tend to um, say the bad words also against them. But uh, when I read the scriptures, it's really helped me. It really helped me and just be able to learn how to uh, love them, how to accept them, and how to forgive them despite of the hurtful words, despite of the bad things that they have done to us. And it's really nice feeling and um, the thought that the reward is there for you um, to have if you were able to do this is a um, it's a very good thing and so that's why I encourage everyone and inspired you with the scripture and the reason why I put some words also here just, just to remind me that I have to grow in my grace to other people I have to go with my love I have to choose kindness when um, situations come and should have the courage says courage is grace under pressure so if you are in pressure you have to have the courage um to have um to have the courage to have the grace and of course the word pray in here is very important because um you cannot do it alone so we really need to pray hard in order for us to be able to uh, gain that strength in so that god will really give us the strength to do this to do these things um for us to be able to have that peace in our heart so that's it for my bible art journaling i hope you are inspired guys and i hope you would be uh, reminded also if you've experienced things like this and just don't worry um god will judge justly so uh, let let it go and let it god judge them so before i end uh this video i want to share a small project that i've done just recently because i'm joining a challenge and the challenge is for us to make a four by six card and this is what i made uh, i put from in our channel which is mom or ends corner and i decided just uh, when you open it up um, there's a flower in it because it's a springtime so i made everything this is a uh, made from a paper and just put some um, coloring pencil or markers just to make it like that kind of flowers and put some cute butterfly in there and some words like says um, holes cards that means this is our channel is all about and there's some albums means I made albums and some arts and Bible journaling and etc because there's some more that you, you would be able to see in our channel so I want to share this to you guys before I send this to the recipient so that I would have a rem remembrance of what I did. <laughs> so that's it for this uh, small um, project. I hope that you would continue to um, watch um, with us and be with us. And thank you so much for being there always and hope to see you next time. Please like, comment and subscribe and Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye.